logging in, this is the main interface of iPortal Doc. Here, you can consult several videos on the application. On the left side of the application, we have the document hierarchy, which we can divide into three areas. A general archive area that includes the archive of several types of communication, such as letters, emails, and chats. The folder My Docs, which is a private folder where you can insert documents, photos, and videos that are not structured in processes. And the area of the processes that cover most companies. There are 10 processes with 22 pre-configured workflows ready to use. To insert a document, you only need to select the folder where you want to insert it. And in the upper left corner, select the menu New Document. We fill the insertion form and insert the document in the application. To insert an image in iPortal Doc, you can follow the previous procedure or choose for the drag and drop feature. It's very easy. You only need to grab the image or set of images that you want to insert in iPortal Doc and drag them to the selected folder. Then you only need to classify the images. All of the documents that you insert in iPortal Doc can be forwarded. It's very easy. Right-click on the document and select the option Forward, Document. Write a message and select the user or users to whom you wish to forward it. Another way to forward documents is to click on the plus info of the document and then select the menu Document and Forward. At this stage, the procedure is the same. Write your message, choose the user or users, and forward the document. Your documents can be forwarded with pending actions, and those actions are registered in the chronological scheme of the document. To forward a document with an action, select it, right-click on the document, forward, with pending action. Select the type of action you want and write your message. You can also select the option to be notified when the action is executed and to determine a deadline for its execution. Choose the user or users and forward the document. The user receives an email with a link to execute the action. When clicking on the plus info of the document, you can check that the forwarding was registered in the chronological scheme where different kinds of information are available, such as how many actions were performed, who were the participants, as well as their comments. iPortal Doc allows you to associate documents with each other, so it's easier to consult, for example, all the information associated to a process. You can associate documents with or without search. Select the document to which you're going to associate images. Right-click on it and select the option Associate without search. Select the image or images and associate. To consult the associated documents, you only need to click on the plus info of the document and access to the tab of the associated documents. As you can see, here are the images that we have just associated. You can also associate with search. Select the document, right-click, associate with search. Here, you can find several fields to perform your search. Let's search by document title. Select your file and associate. When sending emails to the exterior through iPortal Doc, these stay associated to the process that is being handled. Let's exemplify with this document. Select it, right click, forward, Exterior. Write your message and place the email of the user to whom you wish to send the email.
When consulting the plus info of the document in the associated emails tab, you can see that the email is already associated. With iPortal Doc, you can associate important emails to your documents. Copy the document code and click on the mail archiving icon. Select the email, click on the associated email icon and search by code. Here is the document to which you want to associate the email. When clicking on the icon of the documents associated to the email, you can see that the email is already present in the associated mails field. Sometimes, you need to have the same document available in several folders. To that end, you only need to insert it one single time in the system, and from then on you can link it to the several folders where you want to make it available. This way, you don't duplicate documents in the application, but you can have the same document available in different folders. Click with the right button of the mouse and select the option Link. Select the folder to where you want to link the document and link. If you wish to confirm if it's linked, select the folder to where you linked the document and check if it's visible. Here is our document with the same code. If you click on the plus info, you can see in how many folders the document is. Oh.